afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swoosh, and I'm here today reviewing the SPY. Interesting because the SPY gapped down this morning, gapped down actually under the 50 pair moving average, gapped down in the middle of yesterday's huge big green bar, nice big rally, and we didn't fall. So another sign of strength today in the market. I know, I know we gapped down, but we held, we held here in a weird, weird place. Um, and it's 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 just a it's a price area actually. Let's, let's look exactly here. Where where did we open? Two forty four thirty three. What a this is like a baby level of support. We could have fallen today. And we could have broke yesterday's bar. We could have retested the low. And we didn't do it. So based on that, and the way that we're trading all day today, and we'll pretty much close green today because it's three oh nine. We're holding. So it looks like. Tomorrow, my prediction is we should gap up. Uh, you know, something could happen and we don't do that, but based on everything, this, the trading action today and yesterday, it looks like we're probably gonna rally tomorrow. So I'm predicting a gap up tomorrow in the market or a neutral open and then a rally, follow through higher. So I think we have some follow through in the market the rest of the week, Thursday and Friday higher. If we do not gap neutral or up tomorrow and for some reason gap down, then we could fall. But I really think if we were going to do that, we would have done it today. So, but not not to say that some reason couldn't affect the market that creates a gap down between now and tomorrow morning. So, anything can happen. It's early. It's only three ten. So we'll see what happens. But the market is holding very strong, and we could have we could have pulled all the way down. I really didn't think we'd do this. I talked about it in some webinar in the room or both that even if we came down here, the market would still be holding the uptrend. It doesn't appear that we're even gonna do that. So we had one sell-off bar last week, and that appears to be it. It had absolutely no follow-through whatsoever. So despite the fact that people think that we made several higher, uh, lower highs in here and lower lows, had the sell-off day, made the topping tail here and here, I just don't see the market falling through lower. It looks like we're gonna hold, we're holding very quickly, very strong. In, in baby supports, okay? And we nearly retraced 100% of this red bar yesterday, way more than we even needed to. Uh, target for the SPY yesterday was 245, and we got way through it, ran up into the close. So look for a strong close at the end of this week. I don't know what we do next week, we'll have to see. It's still gonna be hard to imagine that we could possibly make a brand new high and hit up over the high around the holiday coming in the next week and a half, but anything's possible. If we don't hit up over the high before the holiday, then we slosh around in here and I think we should still hold strong. So we'll see what the market brings tomorrow morning in the gap, but my prediction right now, looking at today's close, is that we should gap neutral and rally tomorrow, or gap up and rally tomorrow as well. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.